Hey, what's up, Saucy Posse? Hope you're doing well. Let's get into this stuff. We got lots of investments to talk about. We've got lots of money. Big stuff going on to the roof, baby. The Umbreon going up. People can't pull that stuff. Evolving skies pumping. Sports cards gonna be big. Disneyland lore car is gonna be even bigger than ever before. My man Jeff Wilson out there straight up spitting facts about that. But first, before we get into all that stuff, you guys were asking for it. I brought it in. We got merch officially here baby we got some sauce boss merch dropping down the things that you want i'm so happy to unveil this to you it's going to be up on the sauce boss store you'll be able to get it everywhere let me let me show you my original creation for this so like okay check this out i know it's gonna blow your mind it's gonna blow your fucking pants off your goddamn pants <laughs> Okay, let's mm, check out this shirt I made right here. So this is going to be up available. Check it out. My original creation right here. It's got Sauce Boss, and then it's got a Pikachu that I, I made, and I put that on that shirt. Yes, I know someone else drew it, but that motherfucker didn't put it on a goddamn shirt. I did that. This is my new merch right here. It's going to be up for $44.99, baby. It's going to be $44.99 USD. Oh, you don't want a t-shirt? That's cool. Posters. We got posters going your way we got some delicious posters right here my wifey gardevoir right there oh hell yeah Whoa. but right there my poster my art see right there how it's got my name on it that means it's mine i made that and whew, all that money's going to me it's going to be 55 and don't worry i'll sign it for you right there i'll put my mushroom tip right on that goddamn poster Whoa, oh yeah Oh, but you want you want something a little different, right? You're a real tough shopper. You want this good stuff. You want a card of the sauce boss. You want a saucy bossy card. I got you. I got you right here. Check it no further. Check it out. Look. Ooh, check that out. It's Scyther, baby. Scyther, look right there. It says sauce boss right there. So it's mine 100%. These are going to go for $100. These are going to be the thing to have right here. What? What do you mean someone, what do, what do you mean the Pokemon artists are complaining that I took their stuff and slapped my name on it? I'm marketing for them, goddammit! I'm marketing for them! You, you get with them, and you tell them they don't know who Sauce Boss is, I can put my name on whatever I want and sell it any way I goddamn see fit! More to come from Sauce Boss. Pokemon Company don't know anything about me. I can do this stuff. Look, I'm making the money, okay? Look, check this stuff out. That's my card. My name on it. More to come next time. Appreciate you, so What? What do you mean I cease and desist? Hey, what's up, Paintbrush Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today's Bromeo card of the day is going to be another than Kiwi. Kiwi is one of the trial captains. He's the fire type one. It's going to be the one that was hanging out with the Alolan Marowaks. Honestly, like the Sun and Moon region catered to a lot of the Kanto fools. A lot of them still didn't like it. I see that it's actually going up a little bit in popularity. Kiwi got a fantastic card. Slept on, in my personal opinion. Sun and Moon in general. I mean, it's just going to go down as one of the greats. I want to talk about something that I saw that just kind of blew my mind. It was something that I just couldn't really believe what I was seeing, especially coming from a larger content creator. First of all, let me say this. I know this content creator is not the only person that does this stuff, but they are one of the biggest ones that do this. And just the sheer amount of disrespect and just laziness I saw on this just was awesome, right? It, it was something that was just, you don't see that shit very often. It was, it was amazing just to see the incompetence being presented here. So one of the things people ask me quite a bit is like, hey, Opossum, when are you getting some merch? When are you getting the Discord? When are you doing all that stuff? And I, I, it's the same thing every time. I want to put out something that's quality. I want something that if you're going to pay your hard-earned money and your time for it, and you're going to dedicate a little bit more to it past just watching my dumb, bullshit, rambling content, it should be worth your time. And I just don't, at this point, have everything together, that stuff. I'm still trying to figure out how that stuff works. I do appreciate the enthusiasm. It's not like I don't want to do things for you. I just want it to be some quality stuff. And merch is one of those big things where it just it needs to be something that like you, A, would want to have around and be something that represents myself and respectfully like goes into like what I do, which is Pokemon content. I don't want to just take from the artist or something like that. I want to do something tasteful. And that's apparently just not the case with other content creators, like other content creators that are like big, if not bigger than me are just cool with slapping whatever together. So Don Diego trading is who this is going to be about. Yeah. Everyone's favorite shill bitter, right? So they put out some merch. I saw this floating around Instagram. Some people were talking about how terrible this merch was. You were absolutely right, Instagram boys. Thank you so much for actually uh, pointing this out. This, this is beautiful. So she <laughs> she decided to put out some merch on her website that just kind of blew my mind with how like incompetent it was. Just with how 
tone deaf the whole thing is. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So right here, you have a Don Diego trading birthday 2023 trading card sign. And what it has right here is you have, I'm sure it's going to look a little different when it's finished, right? I'm sure that green background is not like, what it, at least I fucking hope not. But what got me was it's got Mitsuhiro Arita's Giovanni promo, like the whole just straight up that art in the background of it with this neon pink Don Diego trading plastered right on top of it. It, it couldn't be any more phoned in. If you try, I mean, first of all, like that's not your art. Like that's, you just straight up took their art and plastered it on right there. Like you just were like, fuck it. That's my art. I'm throwing it on and you're monetizing that stuff too. How much you charge for 25 bucks? Woo, man. I don't even think Mitsuhiro Arita in some cases was charging that much for fucking autographs. I mean, he is a little bit more, but at one time, man, just what the hell? Like taking their art, plastering it on and just how, how? How do you feel good about this? This is so crappy and disrespectful. You're literally just taking their exact art. It's not even like you made a rendition. Like, everyone here in the Pokemon community has, like, some thing where they kind of relate to Pokemon. But most people will take, like, some art. They'll make their own. They'll make their own take on it. And if you had taken your own take on this beautiful Giovanni card by Mitsuhiro Arita, like, it would have been it would have been all right. But you just straight up copy and paste their art and threw it on there. And then threw Don Diego trading and fucking neon Vegas lights over here. And was like, yeah, that's good enough. That's what my fans deserve. Surely no one's going to find that disrespectful dog. No wonder the artists fucking hate us. No wonder the artists just, they're, they're getting fed up with everything like that. Because you can just take their work, plaster on something, and then fucking monetize it. Just sell their art with your stupid logo on it. It's a dumb logo, by the way. Like, I don't know who's your friends. I don't know who's actually, like, looking out for you. They fucking suck at it. I don't like you very much. And I'm telling you right now, this is a bad move. This looks awful. This is stupid. Like, you you need to reassess what you're doing over there. Hire me. We can have a fucking Frenemies podcast or something like that. We can literally be like Ethan and Trisha or something like that and just bicker back and forth. I don't know what it is. I don't know why one of your friends is not telling you this is trash. I don't get it. Like, who approved this crap? Who said, steal Mitsuhiro Arita's art and put on a goddamn card? It gets worse, too. It gets, far, like, t-shirts. Like, it, it's it's just literally the exact same color palette. It's the exact same art. You just remove the background and you put your neon fucking pink shit right on. Like, I don't... How? How does it... Like, how is this the standard for YouTuber merch? There's plenty of people that make YouTuber merch It's like, Pokemon related, but they do their own takes on stuff. They at least, like, add something original to it. They at least take the likeness and try to recreate it in their own light. But like this, how, how do you feel good about this? What is this crap? Like, this is awful. You took their art and just, <laughs> this is, this is my biggest fear with like actual merch is I put out something that's this bad quality. God forbid, you know, you know, let's forget about the actual art right there. The klepto art stuff happening. This is lazy. This is what your fans deserve. Just a copy and paste job. I mean, fucking sauce boss made what exactly what you made in like three minutes in Adobe. Okay. That fool, which is like, I can do what this is in like two minutes. This is what your fans deserve. This is what you want to put out. This is the quality stuff that's working for you. I feel bad for picking on you, but like, I just don't know who is approving you to just do this stuff this is trash like when i think of don diego trading i think of i think of giovanni and and fucking persian for some stupid reason i'm sure you probably own the card you're a big money page and you, you you made your ways around you're a pretty cool influential person so i've heard but like what the fuck what is this <laughs> Ooh, you need new friends or something you you really need to like fucking fire some people or if you thought this was okay you need to sit down you need to like reassess what's going through your creative mindset this this is an actual factual trash like especially with the artists recently going through their stuff where they're tired of people harassing them and just only using them for money and reselling literally everything that touches a goddamn pen this this is trash this is some stuff I'd expect to see at the San Diego flea market made by like somebody trying to rip off Pokemon in every step of the way they can. This is some bootleg pack stuff right here. Like what is th And this is official. This is someone that's huge in our content creation space. I I'm still, I'm just a lost. I'm at a, I'm at a goddamn loss. I don't even know what to say. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. I don't really care. I, this, whoo, <laughs> man, you, you've got some, you got some splaining to do to somebody. That's all I got. See you later, virgins.